Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Uh, I'm ready to go. Have some more fun, kill some more enemies, run away from chicken things, and actually fail to run away from them. This one's pretty tough. Ooh, scary, scary. Ooh, Violet Snake. That sounds fancy, doesn't it? That was too short. It was too right short. We should make that longer. Okay. Um, I need to check something really quick. Let's see. Okay, Raven got his, so he's good for a new weapon. I need to stop at some point soon, and... Oh, gosh. My controller's being weird. Can you give me a second to try to sort this out? Okay, I think I've sorted it out. Um... Now, let me check something really quick. Okay, he's done with that, so he needs to move on to his next weapon. Uh... Finish up the Carolyn sword. I don't know what's back here, actually. I know we're supposed to go up, but there's a trail best. back here that I want to see. And, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm probably just going to take another holy bottle and run by everything. Nope. No orange skills for me. The only problem with computer still is if one of us is kind of half hurt instead of healing them, with first aid she'll try to do a nightingale, which is a little wasteful. Was I a little hard on you? But it's so much more useful to keep her in AI mode than to auto command her. Like tell her not to do anything, because otherwise that's really hard to do. Oh dang it. You don't scare me. It's one of these trap chests. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I like how they attempted to attack it like five times so far, and they've only hit it maybe once. Let's see, oh, we've already logged fake. Actually, I think this one doesn't have that much health, does it? No. Let's go. It's one of the less health than the last one we fought. The last uh, fake chest. Ooh, and turquoise. What does that do? Greatly increases luck. I don't need it, but it's not bad. Okay, um, no, we're, we're just gonna take a holy bottle now. Let's see where, where it's holy, okay. Got a chicken. Oh goodness, this goes a long way. Maithral circ circ circlet. Circlet. Uh, that could help you quite a bit. Oh, we need to give you that silver circlet we bought you. There we go. It's all for helping out the the magic attack, and oh my gosh, that's a giant thing. I don't want to fight any of the giant enemies, because those are really long battles, and they're usually very hard. I'm not even, like, I wouldn't be able to do it with how much I've been having to skip. Um, who needs the shoes? I suppose that would be you, wouldn't it? No. Who needs my ethereal shoes? Oh, anyone can wear- oh, because they're an accessory, not a... whatever. Okay, no one needs my ethereal shoes. Whoa, where does this go? Um, oh, this goes back to the last section. There was a little bit I couldn't reach because the area was broken. And this leads to it. It's actually, a, I think, a cool piece down here. We're gonna get it. We gotta fight this guy, though, unfortunately. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Stupid insect plant. Let's get rid of Philfolia Puff first. Wait, was that plant casting magic? That was weird. That was odd. 
I, I don't imagine plants casting magic. Okay, Overdrive Warrior. And this is actually a special piece for Rapide. We'll throw him into our party so you can see it. Um, let's see. How do I reach it? There we go. Overdrive Warrior. Look, he's got... <laughs> he's got a Yuri on his back. Riding him. <laughs> I love this piece. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move out of my way. Who do you think I am? And uh, if he's in battle or something, you'll see him. And you'll see him in cutscenes. You'll basically see him any time, and he's really awesome. Let's finish up our exploration really quick before this holy bottle runs out like it just did. Nope. This is our last one. Nope. Dang it. There's something both ways, but I gotta fight you people. Urgh. This one's pretty tough. Ooh, scary, scary. At least we're learning new abilities, aren't we? That's her, like, angel ring or whatever. I like that attack, because it actually groups all the enemies together. <laughs> I just like the little guy on his back. It's so funny. It's even got physics on it, too. It doesn't just sit there. It, like, wiggles around a bit. Okay, and what do we got behind you? I can't see because your giant body's in the way. I'll blow you away. Wow, that was fast. What was that? Maybe like 10, 15 seconds there? Red saffron. Agility by three. Sure, why not? Met Yuri really hyped up and everything. Okay, I think our woods exploration is over. Let's get back on the path and make sure not to run into the giant enemy up there. That'll be really bad for us. Okay, back on the path. And there isn't too much more. We just gotta get to that second Blastia and take down the people up there. Just like we did the first one. Those who obstruct the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals! <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I think Yuri's already being treated Hold as a still. criminal. I'll make this quick. Oh, oh, no, no, don't hit me. Sorry, take a drink of water. Don't, don't catch me. Oh, crap. I didn't know how close I was to death. Wow. No, don't use resurrection on me. I'm already not dead. Oh wow, we got one more of you. <laughs> First aid, I will heal my dead partner. Repeat. Doesn't work. Okay. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this. Okay, I'll leave this to you guys. Those poor Blastia. And where are you off to, Carol? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. You guys are sort of freaking me out with your enthusiasm. Stop being it's so Yuri's enthusiastic. Influence. It's freaking out the old man. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Ow. 
After many long days through the wind and the rain, we finally broke the code. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. The Knights have come back! We've got to hold our ground here. Another stage fight. We do battle with all our might! These guys are actually decently strong, like they're doing damage to me. <laughs> You need more damage, so I'll attack you. Actually, you're almost dead. Get off the ground! Make it so my pointless use of energy wasn't useless. There's more of them. I like how when you see them fight out of battle, they take down enemies in like a single blow. It's so easy. In battle, it, you have to keep hammering on enemies until they're dead. It seems they're not going to let us rest. They're just waiting for us to get tired. Wow. That was terrible. Estelle, fall back. Rina, what are you? We have to destroy him. You worry about the knights. Rina, but why? We're out of time. You can't possibly. Rina. Can't possibly what? Fight them all off? Do you have no faith in me? In us? Succeed or die trying, wasn't it? We won't give in. Rita, do what you can and save that Blastia. Part of the Earth Defense Force. Save the Blastia. I will. I'll fix this thing if it's the last thing I do. And just so you know, I'm expecting the same from you guys. Guess I'll give it all I got too. What I want to know is where he's keeping all those yourself? arrows at. I'm joining the Shining What's Youth Brigade. Way? Man, this guy must practice a lot. I'm not too worried if you're still making jokes. I think I'd like to retract my previous statement. Stop goofing around, you guys! Fight! What stopped? Rita! Way to go, Rita! Well, B. She came through. The knights are pulling back! Why? Because the Blastia stopped? I wonder what they were trying to do. They were trying to make a tactical diversion to make us all work harder together. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Now we've kept our promise to Tord. Judith, you take it from here. Okay. What are they, like, sleigh bells? homeland of the Christian people. It's definitely impressive. Looks like they won't keep it open for us very long. We should hurry. Baul! Oh, it's a good thing he's learned to fly on top of mountains that he couldn't fly on like five minutes ago. A flying city. Who'd have guessed? It's a flying jellyfish. Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. Antilochea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. 
It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. Look out, flying airship on the way. Okay, so let's go to the city. Enter. The home of the Critia, Muorzo. I like this town, everything's sort of in little bubbles. It's really neat. Along with having great music. This is amazing! Hey, look! They're all Critians! Uh, are they welcoming us? Now this is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? It's Baul. Have you forgotten him? Oh. You're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. <laughs> That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. <laughs> I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? What are you looking at me for? I was talking about her personality! Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? It's you. Ah, man. <laughs> Sorry, I think I had a slight video cut right there at the beginning of the skit, but hopefully you didn't miss anything. I think the text should still be there if you missed a word or two. And... It's like a lot of broken stuff around here. Interesting. Okay, so, oh, cutscene. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. I'm sure it would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Miss Distel. <laughs> really, that would be nice, but... It's not working. It doesn't have a core, it's just the body. The city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So, you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. The children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores. And through the absorption of air, 
Hold it. Cores are made from crushed apathea? Indeed. That is what the stories say. It appears apathea was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. It is why its power was restrained by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it, unless its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. Hmm. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah. The apathea that comes from Intelikea, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about Apathea because he felt uncomfortable talking about it. You think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yours must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there, where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. Hmm. Apathea, Blastia, air disturbances, Intelikea. It looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is the large building with a different colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Okay, um, there's a lot to do in this town, including that, so don't let me forget that. But, I really need to save, I think. Will they let me save? Is this the house I save in? Let me find out. I know that we're under our time that we would normally go, but uh, something actually came up and I need to end up going now. So I apologize about that, but it was still a pretty good length episode. Next time we will continue from here and talk to the Elder, go around town. Um, I think there's even new items here. Uh, oh, we can... There's a bed we can rest in if we need. Anyway, so I will... Oh. Buildings can be seen in the distance. Baul is the only one that can reach them. Cool. Alright. Anyway, I will see you next time from here for more Tales of Asperia. Bye!